It's a sometimes vlog. It's a vlog that happens at home. It's Giant 2B here, David here. Yeah, we're here at LA Union Station. Uh, perhaps you've seen Catch Me If You Can or The Dark Knight Rises or, or any other uh, films that are filmed uh, with a train. Well, here we are at Amtrak Union Station, built in 19, May of 1939, the world's largest uh, train station west of the Mississippi River. And uh, it, it, you have the classic seating here. And, uh, and it's kind of some of a museum here. And uh, they filmed a lot of movies here. And uh, back in the back in the forties, was one of the busiest stations in the West Coast. It's no longer busy anymore, but this used to be the old ticketing counter back in the thirties, forties, and fifties. Here we are in the Metropolitan Lounge here in Los Angeles Union Station. We're doing a sleeper car. And uh, we have uh, complimentary uh, drinks and food. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. We'll, see so, we'll do more later. Train fourteen thirty. This is the uh, sleeper car that we're in, and uh, we'll see it make it up at night, show what it looks like at night. I'll do a walkthrough afterward. My cousin Ben Renard drives this surfliner train. I'm going to see if I can catch him on the front here. It's a little tape, but that's the instructions to get the bedding already. But you can easily just give me a call. Looking forward to any uh, break stops. You know, most of our train stops are very quick. We just came out of there, but uh, we make announcements for any fresh air break stops like Santa Barbara, San Francisco, every three to four hours. I guess my cousin Ben has tied me in on our train. Maybe he knows I'm not. Yeah, I'm, of course, that's how you're in the Good morning. Um, Welcome aboard. You could purchase something, I believe, in the shiny car, something small. Seattle. Ask for some cash back. Get yourself settled in. Oh, I mentioned that to the dining car. You can probably do something. Listen for the. Uh, as far as like stops ahead of cafe to yeah. make their opening yeah. announcement. We're we'll moving. We're we'll moving. We'll also get an opening oh. announcement from the diner regarding lunch reservations. That was very quick. Yeah. Uh, once again, we're getting on for the next stop. 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 First stop in about 25 minutes. Yes, yeah, I'll see you folks a little bit later. Living downtown Los Angeles, we're on the mountain side. I have to go to the Los Angeles wash. So now we're in the. We're gonna go right past the Burbank where we were. Yeah, we're well now we're in the San Fernando Valley, going to Burbank. Where the next stop is me, Van Nuys. Van Nuys. You want to tell us about Van Nuys? You grew up in. I grew up here 15 years, 1962 to 77. Thank you. Van Nuys.
Savannah Heights, California. Grandmother used to live here.
in Santa Barbara. Southern Pacific car. I'm gonna walk into the train station. There's a small one today. smoking in public area. Barbara. Old Santa Barbara station. Thank you. Sunny Santa Barbara. What made you live overseas? Um, I was teaching English abroad. So you speak another ESL. language now? No, actually when you teach EFL they do full immersion, so they don't oh. want you to teach they don't want you to use the other language. But I I did learn Thai. Yeah. And then I went back a second time and Took language classes. Wow. Yeah. I taught insurance when I was. Oh. <laughs> I'm retired. Yeah. Teaching's important. Cheers, guys. Hello, darling. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Welcome. So that's what you think of this as a are those oil rigs out there? Yeah, those are oil rigs. That water might be nice enough to go, to go out in. <laughs> that water might be warmer. Have you been to Hawaii? No, never. The water there is so warm. Maui was my favorite place. Yeah, those are definitely oil rigs in the background. I had to skip this trip. Yeah. Does she normally go? Yeah, I take her everywhere. So far so good? How are we doing down here? Everybody good here? So far so good? Great. Thank you. Thank you. So we uh, just finished the uh, lunch, and uh, this is the butter cake, the potato. Thank you. Water, here you go, kids. Cheers. Hello, little familia. How are you? You know how it works in here? $25 a person, anything you want okay, on the lunch but menu? 
I mean, the potato is and not too bad. The, um, and, um, and of course, as you can see, the Pacific Ocean behind me. And uh, we are pretty in private uh, territory, this track all by itself. Because, uh, for, to tell you the truth, uh, there's no not even PHC down here because uh, I don't even have cell phone service. How is your, your Monte Cristo? Very good. Monte Cristo, my Monte Cristo is really good. Oh, okay. So this was the lunch. So no, everybody wants to sit here and look at the I, I get it. So all right, you want the bird. Just south of San Jose now, and I have dinner, and I have steak, so I couldn't film too much on the food. You know, it's kind of nice. So we moved to North Hollywood. So we lived there for 16 years. What are you going to do? Okay. Have some skewer and some shrimp and a slice of bread. So I grew up basically in Los Angeles. Do you want a tea bag? Regular. Uh, yeah. yeah. You want herbs? Okay. We're just south of. Uh, we're just south of uh, San Jose, California. It's now uh, five after six. <laughs> Well, you're a food ball. We're gonna get the we so, 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 Very well blended Cabernet something else. Or a seven thirty. So now we're waiting for the main course. I'm going to have a steak and see how that is. Oh, so you work at West Okay. My, my mother worked at Pacific Telephone. She was one of the dessert operators in the 60s. My dad was a steak medium with some carrots. And the dining car was exactly the same. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now we're speeding up. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, How's everybody looking so far? So good? Yes. yes. We all good? Did anybody need anything? Are you okay? I'm fine. You okay? Oh, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I don't know. Well, I was in the insurance business for 50 years. I was a vice president of the insurance company. I've had several also before. I was a credit manager of the real estate sales committee. I ran a liquor store. That's why. Oh, yeah. Mashed potatoes. Pretty good. Carrot. Not bad. Blueberry. Cheesecake. Here. Don't go to the coffee. Coffee, any other drinks up here? Because mm -hmm. you want to take your other one to go for later? Yeah, all right, cool. Do you want some more? Definitely blueberry cheesecake. So my territory is the western United States. So I go to Hawaii, Seattle, West Portland, Salt Lake City, Denver, Phoenix. It's a quarter. Oh. All right, everybody's good over here? Yes. Good night, sweetie. Yours, love? How are we doing over here, girl? Thank you.
right. Oh, oh, right. 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 Well, for two nights. I made it to San Jose. Tried to escape. Quickly, swans. those were swans. Yeah. Uh, everyone, as you can see, we're in Klamath Falls, Oregon, on this part of this trip. There's my attendant who's smoking a cigarette. And uh, take a look uh, at Klamath Falls. Sorry about the choppiness of the film. It's probably gonna be a long one. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna famous Oregon Trail stop. Passengers should now make their way to the train. Sleeping cars are located near the rear of the train. And cars are located on the front of the train. Please use the back gate to cross and the back gate to cross the train. What lake is this? Marco vending machine on Jackson Street, half a mile. Have to go there. What did vending machine? Scroll up. Trees through the trees for you to take. 
take photos, so you'll have to uh, kind of be patient and just snap that perfect photo when you get the opportunity. Uh, at this point, we are at the highest elevation we will hit during this leg of the trip. We're approximately 5,000 feet. Uh, higher and higher. And once again, on the right hand side of the train, Odell Lake. I believe Lake Tahoe is 7,000 feet, folks. So, uh, but, uh, Looks like it's a big lake. I don't know if we can get any clearing at all. That's why I'm videotaping, so I'll, hopefully I'll have it here. I don't know if we're going around the whole lake or not. Oregon, about uh, two and a half hours away from Eugene. Oh, uh, I think now we're gonna get. Oh, uh, here we go. Odell Lake. I might have been the way clearing. <laughs> See if we get another clearing. This is gonna be a long video, folks. If I slap it all together, I guess we're going around the whole lake. I don't know. Or just a weird, weirdly jagged lake. I don't know. Not in my minute. Two and a half hours away from Eugene, Oregon. So we used to go to the Bay Area quite a bit. We missed it. We missed it. Yeah. Yeah, I love this stuff. Do the Save Mart have any? I know they converted the old food banks to Save Mart back in the 90s when I first went to work for them. Is there any of those left? There used to be one on, or two of them on March Lane. I live off of March Lane. I didn't do very well. When I got into the credit business, I worked for household finance. And then I got a job at Westinghouse Credit Corporation as a district field rep where I do floor checking on appliances that were floored by the by Westinghouse. Wow. I checked serial numbers like the radiators. Okay, Brownie. Yeah. 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 Couldn't see anything out the window. It was pitch black and snow. A lot better than the abundant cake from yesterday. 
Uh, we made it to Portland, Oregon. And I didn't want to show this on camera, but we had the... Uh, we're going to be here for a while, the longest break for some reason. I think they're doing another chain of staff or something. I don't know. But according to... Uh, uh, there's more graffiti than ever around here. And stuff. I just wanted to get a, a front of the engine and stuff and show the front of that. And then, um, I think the last smoke break or fresh air break. And of course, uh, you know, uh, we're just, uh, you know, the other train here, you have, uh, Sounder and then whatever. I just wanted to get a front view of that. I wanted a front view of that, so. And these new hybrid trains. I guess the engineer is changing. my battery
Anyway, this will probably be it. I might, I might do Seattle and this might be it. Johnny TV signing off. We are gonna be crossing the famous Willamette River fairly soon here. I wanna hide a sardine somewhere. And then I wanna take his rooster hot sauce. We'll be crossing on the famous the Oregon Trail of the Willamette River. You gotta pay the borrow to road or you gotta, gotta raft down the river. Well I'll take down my bed. Across the river will be in Vancouver, Washington. On the right hand side of the car, in the distance through the cage, you can see Mount Hood. Mount Hood is about 11,000 feet high. It's the northernmost of the episodically active volcanoes in Oregon. It was recently eruption for about 210 years ago and about 1,500 years ago. <laughs> We'll have more views of that as we go out onto the Willamette River. We're going to be crossing the Willamette River here. If you've been aboard the Coast Starlight coming up from south of Portland, you've been traveling along the Willamette River for a while. And this is going to be where you say goodbye to the Willamette River. Uh, we're going to be crossing over it, and then shortly after, we're going to cross over the Columbia. Now, the bridge that's on the uh, left-hand side of the train is the St. John's Bridge. It's that Gothic-style bridge there. Uh, you might notice that it's got 
really big pointy gothic spires up top. The original design for the bridge was considered to be a problem for the airport near here when it was built in the 1930s. Uh, and as a result, uh, they were asked to paint the bridge uh, black and white or black and yellow stripes like a bumblebee. Um, the local residents thought that was a terrible birds in the Vancouver Portland area. Two of them were right around here, approximately the locations of the two houseboat uh, mooring areas that you see on one on each side of the train. Now this is the first and smaller of two channels of the Columbia River we'll be crossing because it's a smaller channel. Uh, this one is still considered all within the state of Oregon. When we cross the next channel, that's when we'll be crossing into Washington State. And we have still another good view of Mount Hood here off on the right hand side, a little better than before. You can see it over the uh, auto bridge there as we cross the Columbia River. This is the larger of the two channels. So any time about now, we'll be crossing from Washington State, sorry, from Oregon into Washington State. But that's not what the British would have had. The British wanted this to be the dividing line between the United States and British Canada, the Columbia River. It would be the same center of the channel that now divides these two states. However, it didn't work out that way. But it took them more than 40 years to decide, including renewing a treaty every 10 years saying, we haven't agreed on this yet, but we're not going to go to war over it. That's the gist of the treaty. And a lot of that has to do with Vancouver, Washington, the city we're coming into now. Vancouver, Washington was the site of the Hudson Bay Company's Fort Vancouver. Despite the name Fort, it wasn't primarily a military. Well, this uh, is the trip through Seattle by train. Walking into King Street Station right now. And uh, this will be for the Seattle train trip. This is Johnny 2B signing off for the night.